Hello, today I'll be ranking Project Sky ships. I saw this video from Color of Myself, and I realized what controversial opinions I have on Project Sky ships. Now, before we begin, for the love of God, please don't be toxic. I know not being toxic over ships is hard for some Project Sky fans, but I really mean it. If I rank a ship you like low, that's fine. They're all opinions, and I respect all ships. I actually want to see your take on these ships as well, so be sure to be kind and respectful. Anyways, let's get into the video. I'm not gonna say much for the Leonid one since I haven't actually read the stories or events yet, but from what I do know, I understand why this ship is popular, but however, I more or less see them as besties. 6.5 out of 10. It's a cool ship, I guess. I don't really have an opinion on it. 5 out of 10. I'm not a fan of any Vocaloid ships, besides Connie Mae, obviously. And while this one is valid, doesn't mean I have to like it. 2 out of 10. The exact same thing as Ichimiku. 2 out of 10. I used to love this ship to death, but now I find their dynamic weird. It's still a good ship, don't get me wrong, but I don't really like it anymore. 6.5 out of 10. Yes, I love Jesus Light to bits. They're so good together. We also have to give them credit for giving birth to the best GDMV in the game, hands down. 10 out of 10. No, just no. 1 out of 10. I know this ship is popular and all, but I don't really ship it. I understand why, but I see them more as besties. Kind of like how I see Ichisaki. So, 6.5 out of 10. Very popular ship, but I don't really ship them together either. I ship them as bros mostly, which they are, so 6.5 out of 10. Dox me all you want, my opinion still stands. This is my favorite ship in VBS, no matter what you say. I love them both so much, and it's so cute and adorable. I know it's a popular trope in shoujo manga, but I genuinely love this ship. 10 out of 10. I find it funny how much people overreact to this ship. I actually like this better than Anne Hane or Akitoya. I love how they relate to each other, how their voices match, their interactions, and it looks so good to each other. 9 out of 10. It's another trope in Jojo manga, but it's cool. I also guess they look good together because when I showed VBS for the first time to my brother, he thought Kohane and Akito were dating. So, 7 out of 10. Yes, this is tied to be one of my favorites. They're so scrunkly and goofy and their interactions are good. And this is so cute. Also, look at this scene from Wonder Magical Shrunk Ten. Ten out of absolute ten. The one that's tied with Tsuka Emu. Legit so goddamn cute and funny, especially after Mermaid Admiration. I literally made my name in Project Sekai Ruinana Enthusiast. Tsuka Emu and Ruinana are the only ships I think I generally ship. Ten out of ten. Okay, I admit it. I sent for both of them and their king cover bangs, but I just don't feel a romantic connection everyone else does. 6 out of 10. Pretty cute and pretty wholesome, but I don't really have much to say on it, so 7 out of 10. This is super cute, also chaotic, but cute. Their interactions are good and you could not convince me otherwise. Plus my best friend would kill me if I rated it slow. 9 out of 10. They look cute together and I can imagine them dating, but I don't personally ship this. 6.5 out of 10. I'm not even gonna pretend like I know how to rate this. I know the controversy behind Kanamafu and everything, and I don't even want to get into that, so I'm um, just no comment. Yes, this is the best ship in N25. They are hilarious together. They also look so cute together. Even though I'm not really a big fan of N25, I love the ship a whole lot. 10 out of 10. All I have to say is, dang. 6 out of 10. I'm a slight Mizuru fan. I love their middle school dynamic. I bet they dated once in middle school and agreed to never talk about it again. 8 out of 10. I'm sorry. Absolutely no offense and I hope I don't start a war in the comments. I just can't get myself to like this ship. I just can't. There's nothing wrong with it, but I can't like it. No matter how hard I try. 1 out of 10. I'm sorry. Okay, but actually pretty good. I know for sure their interactions will be gems. And I weirdly shipped them. By the way, Mufflecast of Fishing Buddies AU is gold. 9.5 out of 10. Even though their version of Wawa World flopped, this is so cute. I like this way more than Anne Hane. 
I appreciate all Kohamino fans. 9 out of 10. Literally the exact same thing as Kohamino. 9 out of 10. Of course, I like the middle school dynamic, but not a fan. 2 out of 10. No, I never knew the appeal to the ship to begin with. 1 out of 10. I'm sorry, I never understood the appeal of the ship. Yes, the interactions are hilarious, but I just don't like it as a pairing. 1 out of 10. I swear to God, if they're in a relationship, Kamiyama High would burn down to the ground in a few days. Okay, and also your install, this is pretty underrated. They look so good together and they're hilarious. 7.5 out of 10. Eh, I see them as platonic only. 1 out of 10. As the world's future star said it himself, I see them more as brothers. And can you blame me? They are brothers. 1 out of 10. Okay, but all jokes aside, this is cute. Why does Toyo do so well with Shy Girls? I love how they both play games at the arcade. 8 out of 10 will do. The definition of opposites of track. I wish they had more interactions because I know they would be interesting. 6.5 out of 10. That point 0.5 comes from the fact that their voices are surprisingly good together. Welcome to my rare pairs. Now it's time for you to judge my rare pairs. Good reasoning behind them, I swear. Never thought I would actually like the ship. Actually kind of badass. Like Mizurui, they have that middle school dynamic I love. Acto having a crush on Ivy at least once in middle school is one of my hit cannons. 9 out of 10. So cute. I bet they're sassy queens when they were little. I have always loved this ship. I don't care if it's a rare pair. I still love it to death. 10 out of 10. Very cute. If they're in a relationship, I know they would support each other so well. They would definitely help each other in their shows too. They also look so cute together. 9 out of 10, honestly. 9 out of 10. Okay, this is more of a joke, but I can imagine on April Fool's Day, Sake and Rui decide to prank Tsukasa by telling him that they are dating to see his reaction. I know it would be absolute gold. 2 out of 10 for real and 10 out of 10 for April Fool's. And so that's it. I hope you enjoyed the video. I'm sorry the quality of my voice recording is absolutely terrible. I don't have a microphone, but I didn't want to use text-to-speech, so this is the closest we'll get. Please leave in the comments your opinions on these ships. I also have all the image credits in the description. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.